and welcome back to another ca That's you with that. That's you putting me off. Go on then. Right then. Go on. No. <laughs> I think that's more than enough. That is more than enough for a caddy van. Right then, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another customer car video, or should I say customer van video this time. So today we have got in this Mark V Caddy. This is the 2 litre TDI 122 horsepower model. I believe it's the DTRC engine code. It's got the seven speed DL381 gearbox. And today we're gonna to be doing a turbo upgrade. So if you come with me, Adam, let's have a look what we're gonna be fitting. Before we have a look at the turbos, let's have a look what else Ruben's done already. So we have fitted our lowering springs to this van. And if you come around the front, you'll see some nice, shiny new Porsche four-pot caliper upgrade. 345mm disc, which should give an extra bit of stopping for the extra power. So let's have a look at the turbos. As you can see, the standard turbo is already off the van. We've had to remove all these other parts to get to this. So we'll not be needing that. And then this is the new upgrade that we're going to be fitting. So this is a GTD 1752 turbo. It is water cooled. So we're gonna have a look, see if we can incorporate that and retrofit the, uh, the water cool side of things. But we're hoping that this should be quite a nice uh, bolt on turbo upgrade for these. It will allow you to retain all the standard emissions equipment, but for testing, we're gonna leave all this off, see what power figures we can get without any restrictions and then we'll fit all that back on before the customer collects his van. So we'll let Ruben crack on with installing this and we'll check back in with him later on today when it's done. Later today, Ruben, when it's done. Later today. <laughs> I'm sure <yeah. laughs> So as you can see from the t-shirt change, Ruben didn't get it finished that day, but we let him off because I think it was about half past four when we did that video. So he didn't really have that much time to get it done. But as you can see, the turbo is now fitted. Pretty simple installation. Like we said previously, this is technically a bolt-on turbo upgrade. So 
It retains a standard boost pipe or charge pipe. It could, well, it will retain the standard DPF downpipe and EGR and everything. At the minute, we have temporarily just run the water cooling coolant lines directly from the turbo from what used to feed the AdBlue injector. When we come to refit all the standard emissions, we'll probably tee off somewhere else on the coolant system. But it should work pretty well. I'm not sure if we mentioned it earlier on in the video, but everything else on this vehicle is standard. So we've got standard injectors, standard fuel pump, everything else is stock. So let's have a look at the figures. But as you can see, we have got 243.4 horsepower. And I think the biggest thing about this turbo kit is the torque and the spool. Just over 2000 RPM, we're at nearly, well, 420 foot pound of torque. So it's got a lot of low down power. I imagine on the road, it's gonna drive really well. A lot more responsive to say a 2260 um, turbo. So I think in terms of a bolt-on turbo upgrade for this platform, I think it's performed really well. Surprise does with the figures that we've achieved. But I'm really interested now to get this out on the road and see what it drives like, because I do think it's going to drive really well. So we're just starting the caddy. I think just before we get onto the performance side of things, probably worth noting how nice these new caddies are inside. I think Volkswagen have done a pretty good job to bring them up to date compared to the Mark IV caddies and the 2K caddies these definitely feel a lot more modern there's not many buttons and switches and knobs everything seems to be touch panels and LEDs yeah seems seems nice the only thing I'm not sure of is the dash and these doors it looks a little bit like polystyrene but other than that nice place to be I suppose a lot of van drivers are using the vans a lot up and down the country so yeah you want it to be nice so just as we get in the van up to temperature before we put his foot down I think straight away feels completely normal you can't even tell it's got a turbo upgrade on there even low rpm from a thousand to two thousand, it's still well feels stock really. Um, I said stock, not 122 horsepower stock. Definitely don't feel like 122 horsepower. So I think we mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is the DL381 gearbox. So we've got the paddles on the steering wheel. means as soon as you put your foot down it drops right into the rev range where you want it straight on boost and to be fair it feels quick it feels quick for a van I mean how much power do you actually need in a candy van because I think this is more than enough but yeah it feels good it feels very responsive Definitely feel the torque, puts you back in your seat a little bit. Try it in manual. Even in fifth gear, it pulls pretty well from 2000 RPM. Downshift's pretty nice as well. And then we'll just come out of this roundabout in second gear. is more than enough for a caddy van I think because of the modern interior and the digital dash that this has got in it don't actually feel like you're in a van at all other than being able to hear whatever's in the back at the minute feels like a golf I like a golf but not a golf yeah let's try in sport mode so we're at 20 mile an hour in sport it's currently in third gear and I'm going to put my foot down. Second, wheel spin. Third, 
Rambo. Brent Rambo. Got up to 60 pretty quick then. Yeah, I think we've got this one right. I think this bolt on turbo grade for these is perfect. It matches the chassis very well. I'm not gonna say it's too much power for a caddy. I think it is just right. It's a nice combination. It doesn't affect drivability. You've got a nice big chunk of power and torque. And yeah, I think as far as bolt and turbo grades go, this is this is a really good option. So we'll have this back to the customer now. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be happy. The links to the kit and all the products that we've fitted on this will be in the description below. So check out those. Yeah, hopefully you've liked this video. Thanks again for watching. You guessed it. See you in the next one.